What's up, everyone, and welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben, and today we'll be dissecting the 2024 Subaru Crosstrek. Here at Best Car Reviews, I strive to bring you the most accurate and relevant information under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no wasted time. If that's something that's intriguing to you, then please like and subscribe so I continue to grow the channel. Let's dive in. I'm sure we're all familiar with the Subaru Crosstrek. You see them a lot out on the roads. It's been a very popular design for Subaru. Going into 2024, they've added a new trim, and they've kind of refresh the look of their current generation uh, and I see no reason to believe that their sale numbers will go down uh, if anything they're going to go up and we're going to be seeing a lot more cross tracks out on the street uh, if you're loving the design then stay tuned because today we're going to go through all the trims and key details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck photos and information in today's video come direct from Subaru let's dive in the 2024 cross track will come in five different trims base Premium, Sport, Limited, and Wilderness. That base trim is going to start you off at just under 25000 at 24995 rounding out all the way at the top of the new Wilderness trim at 31995 So across these five trim levels, you have a price differentiation, about $7,000, which uh, should absolutely mean that there's a trim level here that you will like the design of at a price point that you can afford if the cross track is the route you're looking to go. And the best part is, even across these five, that top level wilderness trim is just barely over $30,000. These are all very affordable on the Crosstrek. Engine options, the base and the premium will come with a 2 liter 4 cylinder Subaru Boxer engine, 152 horsepower, 145 pound feet of torque. The Sport, Limited and Wilderness will come with a little bit larger of a displacement at 2.5 liters. Also a 4 cylinder Boxer engine, 182 horsepower. 178 pound-feet of torque, so you do get some more power if you opt for those top three trims. Both these engines will be paired with a CVT transmission, and they all have symmetrical Subaru all-wheel drive standard, which is a great feature. You know, Subaru definitely proud of their all-wheel drive system. For the MPGs, the 2-liter will get you 27 in the city, 34 on the highway, and the 2.5-liter will get you 26 in the city, 33 on the highway. So not much of a difference there. You know, you really can't um, you know, put a number on just I you know a one mile per gallon difference. We'll take a look now at some photos that have been released of this 2024 Crosstrek as we go through some of the features. This is a nice refresh for the Crosstrek in 2024. As I mentioned, a very popular model, and I doubt 2024 will be any different considering the nice looks with the affordable price tags. The biggest news, in addition, uh, is the addition of the wilderness trim on the Crosstrek, which is the most off-road capable. It has another half foot of ground clearance over the other trims at 9.3 inches. The design has yellow accents, wilderness badges, and matte black nearly everywhere else, and it looks extra sharp. All-terrain Geolander Yokohama tires also provide extra off-road capability. So going to the other end of the spectrum now, you have the base trim, and this actually has you know, a pretty solid design. It also has the same ground clearance of the other trims at 8.7 inches. Specific to this one, you have 17 inch dark gray alloy wheels. You still get a roof spoiler, roof crossbar mounting points, and black side mirrors. So you're still getting a decent design and some nice stock features, even on the base trim. 18 inch alloy wheels are standard on the sport and limited trims. X mode is standard on base and premium trims, while dual function X mode is standard on sport and limited. X mode essentially electronically optimizes the systems of the Subaru for max performance. You also get up to 120 feet of cargo space, cubic feet of cargo, cargo space with all the seats down, which is phenomenal for a car this size that is higher than other models in its class. Premium sport and limited trims come with available raised roof rails and an extensive line of Thule racking accessories, and that wilderness trim comes standard with those roof rails. The best bang for your buck, in my opinion, would be the Sport Trim. For a great price tag, you can get this Crosstrek and its elevated off-road themed looks. It may also give you the feel of the Wilderness Trim without all the performance, uh, but it is a few thousand less. So you can kind of get those looks that you might desire out of the Wilderness Trim, but you're not pen uh, spending the extra money and probably not spending the money on features that you don't necessarily need, unless you're really wanting that off-road capable Subaru. We'll take a look now at some interior pictures that have been released from Subaru as we go through those features. This is a surprisingly well-designed interior for the money, uh, in my opinion. 
All trims are very attractive on the inside, so there's really no settling even if you choose the lesser trims. Usually on cars that are around this price point, you get a very kind of bland interior, but this design is actually very well done. Dual zone automatic climate control on all trims. LED steering responsive headlights on all trims. Leather upholstery is standard on the limited trim. Uh, EyeSight driver's assist technology is available on all trims as well. It's kind of Subaru's safety system. Uh, it is said to kind of beep at you all the time. So if that's something that might drive you nuts, maybe this isn't exactly the, the model for you, but if that's something you can deal with, then you know, Subaru's got you covered. These are also all standard with Subaru Starlink multimedia system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on an 11.6 inch vertical oriented touchscreen next to a clear and good sized driver's digital gauge cluster. The limited trim also has a 10 speaker Harman Kardon sound system that's upgraded from an 8 from uh, 2023. Tons of driver's assist, safety, and technology features. Optional if not standard, but Subaru sets you up pretty well from standard. Overall, a high quality interior for the money and a great design. Definitely a factor that puts this Crosstrek over its competition and just about any vehicle in this price point as it has one of the best designs I've seen for an interior sub $30,000. In review guys, no doubt, this Crosstrek is a sweet little rig from Subaru. Whether you just kind of want its bare bones at the base trim to get yourself a very affordable vehicle uh, to get you from point A to point B with some nice styling as well or you want that off-road capable wood on this trim that can get you a lot of places. And even though it doesn't have four-wheel drive, that symmetrical you know, all-wheel drive from Subaru is very well done. Um, Subaru definitely takes pride in its all-wheel drive, and it can get you into some places for sure. Um, don't try to go rock crawling up the Grand Canyon or anything, but you know if you want to go camping and you got to go over some rough terrain to get there, I'm sure you could do it in this Crosstrek. And if not... Maybe go for its big brother, the Outback, which I just did a review on as well for 2024. Another very capable off-road uh, vehicle of its stature. You know, it's not a truck, uh, but it can still get a lot done. So if you're in a market for a, a cross track for 2024, you know, you got a lot of great options here and a lot of ways to kind of make it yours to be exactly how you like. But hopefully this information uh, in this video is laid out in a clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Best Car Review. Please subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you on the next Best Car Review.